It's been claimed that advanced nanotechnology will bring around a second industrial revolution. That might sound like an overstatement, but I don't think it is. For starters, nanotechnology will give us the ability to make things such as solar panels that can provide us with much cheaper energy than fossil fuels, cheap materials that have 50 times the strength to weight ratio of steel, and nanobots that can fix our bodies from within. That's all well and good, but the real promise of nanotechnology lies in molecular manufacturing. We'll be able to make products with atomic precision, building them bottom up, molecule by molecule. Given the amazing products we're already able to make with today's in comparison primitive building techniques, imagine how amazing products we can make when we can choose where each atom is to be placed. It might seem reasonable to assume that large products that are built molecule by molecule are going to be extremely expensive, but the exact opposite will be the case. Atomically precise products can be made by so-called nanofactories. These will have lots of molecular assemblers that make small parts molecule by molecule, and these parts will be put together into larger parts that again will be put into larger parts, and so on. Such a nanofactory would be able to make different products depending on what it's asked to make by its software. One of the things a nanofactory could make is a new nanofactory. When we have a small factory, we can make the pieces that are needed for a bigger one. And once a bigger one has been made, it can make one that's even bigger. Once we have a full-sized nanofactory, it can make a new one. And then these two nanofactories can make another two, and so on. This will make the manufacturing of products almost free. What we'll be paying for is the licensing of the design and the raw materials. The idea of nanofactories is not without skeptics, but it has been analyzed seriously by scientists and withstood scrutiny. Enabling us to turn raw materials that today are considered to be of almost no value into fantastic super products, almost for free, would enable us to solve our challenges of resource scarcity and our problems with global poverty. Molecular nanotechnology will also enable us to cheaply pull CO2 back from the atmosphere.